Hey guys, it's Ben here, and uh, so I'm showing you my Corolla. So I'll give you a bit more in depth about my uh, KE70. It's got a SR20D T in it, and yes, we'll get on with it. Okay, so this is my Corolla, and yeah, pretty much it's a KE70. It's got a engine out of a Nissan. Uh, it's out of a 180SX actually. Um, and yes, so it's SR20 DET, obviously turboed, etc, etc. It's, um, yeah, all in all, really fun car. Um, yeah, I've been patching it up because I want to paint it. And yeah, so you can see, uh, it's quite dirty. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, you can sort of. Yeah, you definitely can. But yeah, drift for life. Anyway, um, yeah, I found this massive rust hole right here. I'm, uh. I'm going to patch that up. <laughs> it was just full of bog. Anyway, so doors unlocked. It's really messy. I've been mucking around with a lot of shit in here, so bear with it. Um, yeah, I got my monster sticker. Not sponsored, but wish I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all the um, cluster is uh, pretty, pretty intense. That's a heads up display. That's actually my speedo, so uh, I don't know. I think that's quite funny. It's quite cool. Got boost gauge. Got water temp gauge. Got a rev gauge that doesn't work because you know SR20 life. Um, then I've got this RSM and that actually shows me my revs anyway, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I've got a dodgy setup for a um, for a uh, head unit. It's just uh, Velcroed on. Yeah, I I'm gonna end up putting a double din player in up here i want to take it into a plastics place and get it made properly proper properly um i've got a s14 dash that i just bought off of a friend uh really cheap that i want to get made up to fit in there because obviously being a nissan engine i know it's s13 but and like s13 engine or ecu and s14 dash but apparently you can wire them up so i'm gonna see how i go attempt it um yeah, it's got a subwoofer in it. Yeah, the back's all real messy. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I can fire this up and you guys can hear what it sounds like and enjoy it for what it is slash isn't slash is. But uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll pop the bonnet and show you under the hood. Okay, so this is uh, under the bonnet and as you can see, well, actually, first thing you'll notice is hood pins, which apparently are legal because when they go down, they sit flush. And so, yeah, apparently if I had like a normal pin, then it would be, um, would be illegal, which I think that the pin's actually a better idea because these seem to, I don't know, they, they wear out. There's like a little pin that you can see in there. They wear that pin out just from vibrating and <laughs> shit. I've, um, I got like these rubbers. It's actually rubber hose that I stuck over a, um, a bolt. <laughs> to try and like, as you can see, you can see up here where it sits on the bonnet to try and stop it from rattling. Um, but yeah, even doing that, it took like not even a week and it started to rattle again. And as soon as it rattles, it wears those pins out. So I don't know, I don't, I don't like them. I, I, if I could find another way to get rid of them and use something else, I would, but uh, yeah. So as you can see, yeah, mod plated up. SR20, DET, turbo's down there. It's just a Chinese turbo. Everything's real dodgily put up because if you saw my uh, previous video, I was just trying to throw it back together real quick and get it running so that I could show you guys and whatnot. So it's <laughs> like this is just zip tied onto the um, some of the intercooler piping. It's got a fat as intercooler in there, which the paint's all rubbing off, so it doesn't look very pretty for you guys. But yeah, it's got a <laughs> dodged up um, what's it called chemical com combination glue sort of stuff to fill the hole in the radiator. I need to buy a new radiator for it. This is all just like slowly coming through. But yeah, so as soon as I got it done, I got it, I serviced it myself, um, just at work, cause I can do that at work. <laughs> uh, put a new fuel filter on it, cause the old one was blocked to the shit house. Like I tried to blow through it, couldn't even blow through the old fuel filter. So yeah, it was, yeah, definitely blocked. <laughs> um, yeah, so new fuel filter, what else, I topped the coolant up because once I took the turbo off, obviously it's got like oil and coolant lines going to it and so yeah, I had to fill it up with oil and whatnot so I just figured I'd change it, put a new oil filter on it and everything so it's 
it's all nice now oil level is perfect it's not even using oil so i'm so happy um but yeah otherwise it's pretty standard it's just got a fuel pressure regulator uh, it's running off the actuator at the moment it's a chinese turbo so i was a bit iffy what the actuator runs so i didn't want to put my boost t on there yet just in case and it's running 9 psi so 9 psi off of the um stand of the actuator that came with the turbo so i'm quite happy to leave it there it was running 10 before but i mean nine's like <laughs> i'm not going to go that much effort for the extra one psi um not that it's that much effort but more the fact that it's not even tuned for anything other than standard so i didn't want to touch it uh it's got standard injectors in it is another reason and finally because it never ever had a one-way valve on the brake booster which means whenever you'd hit boost you pedal it like you have you put your foot on the brake and you pedal it like fly back up at you if you're trying to do a burnout or whatever and yeah that was terrible so i got a one-way valve it's working the charm I um, may or may not have tested it. There's a wiring, like a bunch of shit there. I want to get rid of it all. I was picking at the wiring before, looking at where I'm going to wire the dash into because the guy before me is just throwing the loom in like really retardedly. <laughs> and yeah, so, so far, I think we have gone over pretty much everything in here. Let's go for a drive. That's what you're wanting, a drive. See what the thing sounds like. Now, um... Firstly, I haven't really started this in the last like two days and last time I started it, it sounded like it had a flat battery. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so time to find out whether this thing's going to run. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit iffy at the moment. Oh, my steering lock, right. Yeah, I couldn't turn the key because the steering wheel was on lock. Anyway, so starting her up. And it's got a flat battery. I'll be back. I've got to now jump start it. God damn. Hoping that wasn't going to be the case. All right, let's go jump start it. I just quickly might add, this is the jump starter. So it's tiny as, and it's lithium iron. And yeah, apparently that can start cars good and I'm going to use it. And I have used it before and it does work good. <laughs> just thought I'd say, cause I don't know. It just amazes me that something that size can jump start a car if you know what I mean, like it just, it's tiny. Like you think of that compared to a car battery and you're like, what? But yeah, anyway, let's jump start it. All right, so jump start is hooked up. This is my, uh, yeah, we'll just skip that. Um, subwoofer that's mounted very, uh, very securely. Doesn't make any odd noises whatsoever. Now let's attempt to start it again. Nope. Sounds like we're not going anywhere. Okay, Whew. so after pushing my car from there to here, and we're about to go down and he'll start it, um, I recommend don't buy in those batteries, they're fucking terrible. I don't like it. So yeah, we're going to start it manually, technically speaking, but yeah. So, <laughs> little batteries, not good. Anyway, let's start it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to talk quite loud because this car is quite loud. We've um, we've got it started. Just gone down my hill, and um, I'm just gonna get it a bit warm, and then I'll show you sort of it in boost, I guess, like how it runs and whatnot. The uh, lights on this are terrible. I really want to get new new headlights. I want to go quad light conversion, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Okay, so since I'm recording with my phone, I really, really hope you can hear the turbo noises because they're, they're pretty cool. Um, that's what I was talking about with my rev gauge where under temp, not that you can see it because, uh, you know, it's white on the uh, phone screen, but yeah, it's, we're up to temp. But yeah, so I'll just put my foot down a little bit, see whether you can hear the turbo noise kick in. I'll, I'll shut up now.
Oop, my bad. Alright, hopefully you can see this thing. I'll try and get a, uh, an alright slow moving thing. So this is just what typically happens out where I am. probably couldn't see it. It was a flipped car. I wonder why it happens. Probably people using their phones while they're driving. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> What's that? You weren't watching? You missed it? Well, I just did a little skip. Nah, I'm joking. I just spun the wheels a little up the driveway. But yes, so that was the Corolla. And next episode uh, that I bring out about cars, I don't know if I'm going to do another gaming one or not. But yeah, next video that I bring out about cars, because you guys seem to show a lot more interesting cars than you do into games, judging by my last video. Uh, I'll be going through this thing here, which is the RB20 DET powered uh, uh, S13 Sylvia. Wow, mind blank. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Which, um, yeah, I, I would go through it now, but yeah, if you uh, wait, subscribe etc etc you will see it within the next week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and show me some support because yeah i'm doing this for you guys <laughs> all right catch us later